Port Harcourt Refinery not really ready. Horribly commissioned to satisfy minister's desire to meet deadline. Sources confirm. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel. To get notified, we will post hot juicy news updates. Please click on the notification bell. Contrary to information by the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC Limited, that the Port Harcourt Refining Company, PHRC, has commenced operations. Sources close to the rehabilitation project told the ship Sunday yesterday that it, is, it still has some way to go before it is fully operational. The PHRC is capable of producing 60,000 barrels per day at full capacity, which if refined could yield about 10.1 million liters of petrol, or roughly one third of Nigeria's estimated daily consumption. The four state owned decrepit refineries with a combined 450 barrels per day, 110,000 barrels per day, Cardona plant in the north, and three units in the oil rich Niger Delta, including the 125 barrels per day worry refinery, have been shot for years. The four local refineries in Nigeria, including Port Harcourt, have stopped operations in 2019, causing problems on the country's fraud subsidy. In August, Senator Heineken Lukubiri, the Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, visited the PHRC and announced that it will start working again by the end of the year. The federal government had in 2021 approved the sum of $1.5 billion to fix the Port Harcourt refinery. Subsequently, an Italian company, Matt Technimont, was chosen to do the repair work in three phases. The first phase aims to get the refinery running at 90% capacity within 18 months. However, sources told Leadership Sunday that the refinery was hurriedly commissioned with the flare start off on. Thursday in Rivers, with the flare start off on Thursday in River State in order to meet the deadline, which the Pogri set on behalf of the government in October this year. The sources told top industry players and told Leadership Sunday that the Port Harcourt refinery was not yet completed. On Thursday, in a brief ceremony at the refinery, Lokogiri had announced the mechanical completion and that the flat startup of a country's biggest crude refinery during a media tour of the Port Harcourt refinery. He said, just to announce to Nigerians the fulfillment of a pledge to bring a stream phase one of the Port Harcourt refinery by the end of 2023, and the subsequent streaming of Phase 2 in 2024. We happily announced the mechanical completion and the flay start off on the 20th of December 2023. The source said imported liquefied petroleum gas LPG was fed into the bottom of a flare to provide fuel to let the flow instead of the normal flue gas produced from refinery. This action allowed the picture of the flare to be taken, pretending that the refinery has started operations. The picture was taken within a few minutes. The flight was shut down immediately after. The rehabilitation work was not completed. This cannot happen in the foreseeable future. Another top official of NNPC Limited and the refinery told leadership on Sunday that a particular refinery cannot make any product in the foreseeable future because the units cannot take in crude oil for processing. The rehabilitation work was not has not been completed. The federal government and the NNPC know this, not just fruit, but will not admit it publicly. In fact, no crude oil has been supplied to the refinery to date for the same reason. Another senior official said, Look at the flare, look at the crude cargo, look at the inspection visits, all meaningless. But the oil minister Lukobu said the ceremony heralds the commencement of production of petroleum products after the Christmas break. He thanks Nigerians for their patience and trust in the NNPC to deliver on its promise and mandate of rehabilitating the refineries. This is another landmark of the renewed hope agenda of President Bola Ahmed Tunibu's administration. Congratulations to NNPC and congratulations to Nigerians, he stated. The chairman of board of NNPC Limited, Pius Akinye Lure, on his part had witnessed satisfaction about the new development. Akin Yelure has said his team had promised President Tunibu that the refinery would begin operations 
in 2023. He recalled that the refinery had undergone several phases of rehabilitation, noting that the commencement of operation will keep four courts stable. All efforts to get information from the Italian company, Mayor Technimot, yesterday was abortive. Was abortive. Were abortive as emailed inquiries sent to the media consultant of a company. We are not responded to as at the time of going to press. However, responding to leadership Sunday's inquiries, Chief Corporate Communications Officer NMPC Olufemi Sonoye said that over the past month, NMPC Limited had released a three part documentary detailing completed works, equipment installation, and mechanical completion of the Portacot refinery. It is crucial to note that the old Portacot refinery, OPHR, being rehabilitated is 60,000 barrels per day, not 210,000 barrels. The NMPC has communicated that the mechanical completion phase will be ready by December. The remaining steps include testing lines, checking for leaks, blowing and drying lines, flushing, steam out, equipment calibration, and then introducing hydrocarbons. Testing for air in the lines is vital to pre prevent potential explosions, aligning with global best practices. While eagerness exists to complete the project, it is essential for NMPC Limited as a global energy company to conduct all necessary checks and testing, Sonny said. Commenting on the development, General Secretary, Petroleum and Natural Gas Senior Staff Association, Pengasan, Lumumba, Lumumba Okubawa, Lumumba said the refinery was still on undergoing test running, adding that Nigeria should be happy that something is happening to the refinery after many years of abandonment. They can cut the tape, but work is still ongoing in the refinery. In the refinery, there will be a calibration test, another test warrant. The refinery will come up fully for production after all test runs have been completed, hopefully by the first quarter of next year. Nigeria should also note that the coming up of the refinery will not automatically crash the price of fuel in Nigeria. Fuel from the refinery will be sold at international price, he stated. Well, 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 this is what I'm going to say. Hmm? This is what I'm going to say. The last part of the news quite caught me, but let me start. Let me start from there so I don't miss it out. Why would, after the refinery is come has come on, why would they be selling at international price? Say that they wine me, they didn't wine us. So after we get to bear the brunt of, you know, the first subsidy, they are, com they are coming out to tell us that uh, it does not now mean no, that price. I'd be wanting, ah, you get what I want. Ah, you get what I want to talk. They never share the creature. We can just put on like that. But they go, you sell or say they will they sell them at international price. Sell to Nigerians at Nigerians price. Sell to international people at international price. I be a McBow. Is this not a dust that this person is saying? No, I'm not going to be careful with my words. Sincerely. Why this person would yarn this kind of dust? If you want to sell to our foreigners, please, all pleasure, sell to them as international price, but not to Nigerians. Even like I said, I don't talk and before, but they hold these people for chokehold. Then the other one that they are rushing the refinery, they should make sure they do everything they're supposed to do. Not in the next three, four years, they start telling us a uh, refinery because they did not do this one when they were doing the repairing. That is why they should repair it, eat, and then we go hold them for chokehold. If the refinery is ready, I don't care maybe the first month, the second month, but in that after three months after the refinery, even what am I saying? Immediately start working. Nigerians pride then go crash on. You know, consign me at the one use um cocoa. Alright, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come, you'll be next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.